Okay, well, there's lots to talk about today, especially with Stellar Blade and a small update on Tomb Raider. Uh, right out of the gate, Niche Gamer is actually reporting that the patch that happened where the pinups of Laura Croft have been reversed. They are back to the way they were. The censorship of Tomb Raider is no longer. It has been reversed. This is a big win for gamers and the same thing can happen for what has happened to Stellar Blade. Well, before I get fully into the video, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, and especially subscribe to the channel. The more you subscribe to the channel, the bigger we can grow, the bigger my voice can get, and we can see things actually make changes in the gaming space. This one in particular is about Stellar Blade. Game comes out and it's been censored. Yes, there was a hilarious graffiti that showed up in the game and a journalist got upset about it. There was nothing really wrong with it other than two things, two assets in the game happenstance to be coming next to each other. But this one is much bigger. This game is rated 18A. It is an adult game. And they are censoring the adultness out of the room or out of the game. Sony has come down as mommy and daddy saying, you're not allowed to enjoy your adult rated game. Although this is also where places like Tech Ra or Games Radar sits there and says that penis physics in Baldur's Gate 3 was a necessary update and was something that had to be added to the game. You know, you, you can have the dick and balls waving out there in the wind, but heaven forbid you have a little bit of cleavage for a sexy female model in a video game. The same Games Radar saying that Putting Eve in a sexy swimsuit is forcing sex appeal. No, it's not. It's celebrating the women form. Celebrating what women can actually achieve and look like. I don't know. Maybe some are out there saying, where are her organs? Even though this is based off a real model. And it's a video game. This is the absurdity that we're at. Dick and balls all the way. You can be balls deep having bare sex and no one bats an eye and it's celebrated. But heaven forbid you put Eve here in an absolute stunning cocktail dress showing off her assets, showing off her figure. But no, the games journalists have to take the stance and say this is too much for the male gaze. Now back to this picture with Grums because it's it's not the easiest thing to notice unless you're actually looking at the cleavage. Uh, you can see on patch 1.0 which is the day, the launch day, and then they have a new one 1.002, they cover up the cleavage and this has happened on several outfits at this point. The new game plus even shows some of the outfits that you unlock. They are putting a, a, a shirt over the midriff. The exact same thing they did to Tifa in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that came out four years later or, or re, whatever, whichever Final Fantasy VII it was. This is Sony to the T. This is something that they've demanded, but you also have Baldur's Gate 3 out there on Sony and they had to add, Larian Studios had to sit there and add Jiggle Physics to your ball sack. And that had to be the number one thing, the greatest thing in the world to some of these, uh, some of these journalists. It's absolutely ridiculous that they're even talking about this. But there is something on the horizon. Things are changing, especially when we see uh, Asper Entertainment with Tomb Raider reversing the censorship that happened. This also could possibly be reversed, and I'm going to tell you how. There has been a petition started by Groms or Mark Kern, the ex World of Warcraft Blizzard lead. He has put this together. It has already gained in the last few hours of it being out there over 8,000 signatures and will gain even more overnight. This petition needs to be shared 
everywhere and it's a petition for Sony to actually start listening to the gamers that are playing these games. Stellar Blade is a phenomenal new game that just launched on the PS5, but it has a problem. The content has been censored from the original trailer version posted by Sony. I have a giant problem with this because now the marketing material that they used has been change. There's actually new laws that went through last in the last few months over movies, how the trailer for the movie cannot show something that doesn't happen in the movie. This in particular is now a video game where you have the, uh, the sex appeal of Eve, the, the main protagonist of the game, showing off all her assets, uncensored, everything like that. And now we get to the actual launch of the game and they have toned it down. They have removed things from the game that were promised in marketing. I have a giant issue with that because ultimately this should be illegal for them to do in the first place. But instead of going the class action lawsuit, instead of going a, a route that would be very costly, a petition has started. And I think this petition is well worth the backing. We as gamers want this content back. We relied on it. It made the game number one pre-order worldwide because of it. And this is true and what is the true gamer want. Stellar Blade is more than a game. It has become a cultural beacon for freedom of expression in a time where game publishers like Sony are censoring games more than ever. Stellar Blade was a breath of fresh air and gamer rally behind it because it meant things were cha changing, getting better, and a voice of creative freedom was ringing loud and clear. But for reasons unknown, the game was censored. Changes were made that we received after our good faith purchase was not the same as advertised. That's the biggest thing here. That is the absolute biggest thing here. We believe in this game, we believe in Shift Up, and we are asking for the game to be believed in. Revert the censorship changes, patch the game, and you will find that even more gamers will join you and support you. All gamers can help by signing this petition. It will be printed in Korean, delivered in Korea to Shift Up offices, and the physical printed delivered to Sony PlayStation of North American offices. Spread the petition, social media with the free Stellar Blade hashtag and this has already been translated into a few different languages um they've also gained over four thousand dollars just to promote this petition at the time of me making this video this is a giant thing and a big step for gamers to unite against the censorship that we have seen in video games over the last little while no one's saying remove the jiggle physics that they put in Baldur's Gate 3, but the hypocrisy that the game journalists celebrated these things, that these were the number one things that they absolutely adored for Baldur's Gate 3, and yet the, the celebration for Celebrate and Blade being censored in this sense is absolutely ridiculous and unfounded. What's even more ridiculous here is you have Jessica Cogswell, a editor for GameSpot, coming out suggesting this petition is unhinged behavior by gamers. This is not even close to it. They even equate this to their two-year-old. I have a seven-year-old. This is nowhere near unhinged behavior. Just asking for a petition to go forward to, to suggest to PlayStation to reverse the changes of their marketing material that was advertised for this game and reverse it and give what the consumers, what was promised to the consumers, what we spent our money on. I really wish I had a PlayStation 5. I really wish this game was a PC game and not a PlayStation 5 exclusive because I would be all over this the second I could be. But I don't have a PS5. I don't see buying a PS5 in my future. I would rather spend more money on Steam games and there, I have a hope that this game comes out on Steam. There, there was talk that this game had a PC port and it was stolen off the PC port to go to the PlayStation, which also prevents modding in particular, because it's on the PlayStation, you cannot mod these games either. But 
in all honesty, it's absolutely ridiculous at this point. Grums, of course, huh, lol, you know, supporting women sex workers on OnlyFans as a sexual woman is funny because you can definitely tell where her orgasms are fake, but you absolutely respect the hustle. I am horny with respect. Monetize that male gaze. Ooh, get that bread and looks good doing it. Oh my God. She praises OnlyFans models because they're actually using their body. And heaven forbid we get a game that actually shows off the assets of the woman's body in it. This is absolutely ridiculous. Notice she's now locked the replies here. And of course I came out here and I was able to get in, the, uh, get in there before the replies were locked unhinged to ask for what was advertised consumers want what they pre-ordered what was marketed not a bait and switch censorship on an adult game is pretty ridiculous a petition is a simple ask with the hope it does not go further than that and what i mean by that is if this goes further by it going to a class action lawsuit because it is a bait and switch the consumer has been taken for a ride here with this and it's absolutely should be unequivocally illegal to do anyway i've been your proud game phoenix center shadow do me a favor share this video out there let's get the word out there and free stellar blade and like and subscribe today have yourselves a great day